Hello and welcome to Feedbacular, the show that recently garnered this little review. After watching my first Feedbacular episode, I can't tell you how great, wonderful, excellent and admirable to know the world will be ending soon. This has to be the biggest load of sh** since Yakov went to the zoo to see those damn elephants. But really, where do you get off making fun of people when you look like some titty twister, tea and crumpets please, goat face, ass face, ass load, son of a whore, sh** in the bucket, dead breath, dick beating virgin, mutation gone wrong, f brains. Good day, f you. I do like tea and crumpets to be fair. Anyway, this week's show is all about thief. Intra Yes, you all thought it had disappeared for good, but that's the point. It was being all stealthy-like. The fourth Thief title was coaxed out of hiding this week by way of an asset leak, before Game Informer later confirmed it as the cover for their next issue. And bloody good news it is too, one that garnered quite a bit of feedback as it happens. Brace yourselves for the oncoming plethora of people saying this is a dishonoured rip-off on future news and video coverage of this game. I'd listen to the man, he knows what he's talking about. Now, with this episode being all about Thief, or Thiforfuf, if you go by what the logo says, I've decided it's only right to make sure at least 20% of the jokes in this episode are stolen. For instance, a man was walking through a graveyard when he saw another man crouching behind a tombstone. Morning, he said. The crouching man said, no, just having a poo. So anyway, Thief, it's happening. Here's what you said. I'm glad. But also scared. Scared that Thief 4 will be terribly dumbed down. Thief series is cult classic of PC gaming. True gem of the genre. Am I oh, the best of all stealth games? I hope they haven't ditched the specialised arrows, rope arrows and water arrows for the win, winky smiley face. If Sam Montreal failed this, I shall proclaim, No! You ate all my plumsies! I was excited until I realised Idos Montreal was making it. Wait, Idos Montreal are developing it? Oh god, there are going to be air vents everywhere. The four announced! Rejoice! Now I will not eat or drink until it's here! Then you will probably die. Just saying, you'll die from dehydration in about nine days. And talented though they are, Idos Montreal isn't going to have the game finished by then. Please don't go on hunger strike. At least not till release week. Don't f*** it up! I'm going to the bear pits tomorrow. Wanna come with? If it starts with you in a darkened alley with nothing but a blackjack and the sound of a drunken singing on the breeze, I will be a very happy seal. Okay, I had a mini heart attack when I saw this on the front page. Thought this game was cancelled or something. Go on, D. Wait, what? Stop commenting and seek medical attention, moron. I wouldn't keep presenting if I was having a stroke now, would I? Mostly because I've been banned from getting my knob out on camera. <laughs> Anyway, while many of you seem delighted Thief has been announced, there were more than a few people seriously lacking enthusiasm for Garrett's next adventure, their sentiments seemingly being that there's no place for Thief among today's other franchises. Hooded people. Hooded people everywhere. Wow, it looks completely different than an Assassin's Creed game. Nice to see the industry still has zero originality or creativity in it. Better not be taffing me. Did somebody say taffing? What goes on in this town is none of your business. As long as I'm living here, it is. Then maybe you shouldn't be living here! Well, that's easily fixed. Not excited. Why? Because they will add tacked on multiplayer, and I am sick of every single game having it nowadays. Can't wait to see the look on people's faces as publishers take another great IP and mainstream it up. Get ready for Thief. Creed of Duty to have annual releases, though I don't know if IDOS particularly would do that. Oh look, a bow. Garrett is a hipster. He had a bow before it was cool. Bows and arrows are everywhere now, deadpan face. It's like the zombie Fetzy all over again. I get bored just seeing the things call on Slash. Um, not trolling, but why do you roll your eyes when you see a gun? They're kind of everywhere. Or is it because bows feel like a bit of a gimmick, given that until a year ago they weren't in many games at all? Answers on a postcard, please. No, wait, then you know my address. Just send a semi-abusive tweet, please. 
So glad they're pushing this over into the next gen instead of shoehorning it into the current consoles. I'm expecting streamlining. They better not overdo it and make it an experience that balances pacifist thievery and, I don't know, something else for little kids to enjoy? Please be a stealth game. Enough of being able to go quietly or loudly. And yes, it can work without being boring. Just add fantastic atmosphere like previous Thief games and brilliant stealth mechanics like those in Mark of the Ninja. Yeah, just make it great, then it'll be great. Duh. Johnny, that's not very nice. I'm sorry, I'm under caffeinated. It's not your fault, Duck, nor XXX. Your username is stupid. Johnny! <laughs> Anyway, as per usual in Feedbackula, I've spent much of the episode skirting round an issue which it's now time to tackle head on. Not that one. Rather, this issue is more one of familiarity. Not sure if Thief 4 or Dishonored. When I read the description for Thief, I thought to myself that it sure sounds a lot like the Dishonored. Not that that's a bad thing. Thank Dishonored. I think if it wasn't for it, there wouldn't be enough pressure on the Thief developers. People tend to ignore that, but it's highly unlikely that Thief developers played Dishonored and said, Damn, this is our game. Let's get Thief 4 rolling. I see Dishonored as the needed catalyst to push the release of Thief 4. Premise sounds so much like Dishonored. Plague Run Steampunk City. Emmy good! Skeeted, I've been waiting so long for this! I do hope it's not steampunk or whatever, like Dishonored though. Don't get me wrong, I just finished Dishonored a few weeks ago and loved it! But the 4 can do without robot mech suits and missile launchers, act. Please stick with your zombies slash pagan tree monsters that makes you shit your pants slash different human factions, act. Ah, what the hell. Whatever else you throw in there, I'll love it too. I don't care that your comment was largely enthusiastic and made a number of good points. The fourth word you used was skeeted, and for that you should be ashamed. Now this is exciting news. The trail on Thief 4 had gone quiet for so long, I was beginning to wonder whether it would ever happen. Does look a bit Dishonored-like, but I'm still massively excited. Now we just need news about story and gameplay. Dishonored is tie of series clone in most of ways. Don't porn anything from consoles. These games suck, ugly looking, with poor controls trash. Your grammar is trash. CJ, on your tombstone it's going to read post hoc ergo propter hoc. Yes, there are similarities between Dishonored and Thief, but that doesn't mean Thief has been announced just because Dishonored proved to be popular. Games borrow from one another, it's just a natural part of the industry. Was Dishonored inspired in part by the legacy Thief left? Almost certainly. Will the Thief developers have looked closely at Dishonored? Of course. To not do so would be foolish, and you never know. Maybe Dishonored taught them a lot about what they don't want to do, rather than giving them a bunch of ideas they wanted to lift wholesale. Anyway, that's pretty much it from me this week. Just time for one more insightful comment from our new story on Thief's announcement. No, that soper, dat government, come to Bolferia, and nobody gives a damn about a noting, so... Uh, what? In fact, never mind, I don't really want to know. Anyway, that's it from me for this week, but don't forget you can pester me at home by tweeting at Johnny or by using the hashtag Feedbackula. I'll see you again soon, unless you didn't like the show and have resolved never to watch it again, in which case, f*** you! What goes on in this town is none of your business. As long as I'm living here, it is. Then maybe you shouldn't be living here! Ha, ha, ha.